All right, guys, what is going on? Uh, Coach Show here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. Hopefully you guys watch part one, where it's basically upper body exercises that I'm gonna be incorporating in my training as I get back uh, and to, to be able to train. And by the time you're watching this video, I will be doing these exercises. And this is gonna be primarily for lower body, all right? So first one right off the bat that just popped into my mind is gonna be squat variations, okay? So for the main part, uh, when it comes to squatting, I'm gonna be using the SSB bar. The SSB bar is phenomenal. I've actually made an older video, uh, which I'll link up here, just on why you should be using SSB and what the point of using an SSB bar is. But that's how I'm gonna be doing basically my main squat variations. I can also do lunges with it. It's a very versatile bar, and it's kind of made for people who either have shoulder problems or arm problems, uh, you know, and now just people who need to adapt to not being able to use an arm. So we can also do things like good mornings with an SSB bar. There's just so many options. So the SSB bar is like the first thing, boom, came right to my mind when it came to anything lower body related or hinging pattern related. Uh, that's the bar I'm gonna use. Now, secondly, the next uh, implement that I'm gonna be using a lot of is gonna be sleds, okay? So you guys know, I've been a fan of sleds ever since I basically came out of the womb. I was dragging the umbilical cord out of my mom, walking backwards all the way down the hallway and out the front door, and then I first started just sucking cow's udders for that whey protein, baby. That's why we were so anabolic. So, yeah, we went there. That's how I got so strong. Giant's milk. Um, but, besides that note, sled work is great. Okay, so I'm gonna be pushing, pulling sleds. Uh, probably gonna be using the dip belt uh, kind of as like a hip harness to be dragging, which you guys can see in this video right here, uh, which I was doing when we were doing knees over toes stuff. So great stuff there. Uh, but I'll be incorporating that just to one, work on my work capacity, uh, two, just kind of generally build up some strength, you know, back into the legs. And, and uh, it's, kind of, it's also like a lower impact, quote unquote, type of thing that I can kind of do pretty often. So it helps with fatigue management and training as well. Following the sleds, I'm gonna be doing lots and lots of hack squatting. So I'm gonna be falling back in love with the brutal hack squat that we have here at the Lion's Den. Uh, so that's gonna be another uh, lower body, you know, squat pattern that I can, or squat pattern machine that I can use in my training. Now, following the hack squat, when it comes to doing hamstring work, obviously I have a lying hamstring curl machine here, so I can use that. Okay, it doesn't really require me to use my arms at all, basically. So I'm gonna be using that to build the hamstrings and also doing some things to help uh, with hinging, such as the good mornings using the SSB. I can also do uh, single arm uh, work, so like single arm RDLs and stuff like that. Uh, but I think the SSB is gonna be the best bang for my buck in terms of the stimulus that I want, uh, being comfortable and uh, getting that, that hinging in. And I'm probably thinking about, we were talking with Matt, getting that, uh, that spud strap that you've seen Brian Alger and some other bigger YouTubers who uh, have either arm or shoulder problem use to be able to deadlift essentially, okay? So uh, for me getting you know that deadlift pattern or the hinge uh, pattern in, I'm gonna get that uh, spud strap that I can hook on either end of the bar so I'm able to do those deadlifts. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys uh, me doing those and just kind of see like where my strength is with that. It kind of makes it fun because it's a movement that I really never do uh, under these circumstances. It's something I'll probably do pretty frequently uh, and something cool that I can incorporate in the training. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, so Coach Matt and I were just talking kind of about like lunging, Bulgarian split squats. And we kind of just put it all into like a lunging pattern. So basically we do have Bulgarian split squats. So I could kind of just gently either, you know, rest my hand here to, as much as I can, right? And we can just lunge backwards right like so for each leg or just kind of prop our foot up to do the split squat right where our foot is up which you've seen in other videos and kind of work unilaterally there you can also do things like step ups okay so we're gonna do box step ups which kind of fall into that like lunge pattern ish uh, movement and uh, also like walking on just so just basically you know walking back and forth holding something uh, of resistance the other idea that I had just had too is I have a weighted vest so I could load my weighted vest and put that on, uh, just because this will probably get a little bit taxing and tiring on one arm. Uh, so by putting that weighted vest on, I'll be able to kind of have that the weight centered on my body rather than always pulling uh, on one arm. So just something to consider. And, and overall, let's see if we can put this kettlebell here. Oh, sweet. Um, is when you do have an injury, right? The first thing I thought of is train lower body a lot. And that's good, but you also do have to figure out how am I going to be able to train my lower body a lot so that I don't develop uh, either too much of a stimulus to my, my lower body and fatigue climbs too high, 
or that I potentially run into issues of like tendinopathy with my lower body. So there is the flip side of that and I, and I have been thinking about that as well. And the way we, we can do that is by variations, okay? So, you know, maybe the first day of the week is gonna be my main squat variation and then some sort of uh, different pattern like a hinge or something with a dumbbell. And then later in the week, uh, we prioritize the hinge more and then the quads uh, maybe are on the back burner, okay? So we're figuring out how to, to train more by, but use variations to, to mitigate fatigue. And hopefully you guys have been following for enough time to understand we, we are big fans of increasing the frequency, using variations, and managing our fatigue because that is ultimately what helps us progress, but also can either make us plateau or regress if we get kind of too far in the, the danger zone with fatigue. So kind of just my thoughts and pointers on that. Uh, obviously, doing the best I can with these videos, a lot more talking uh, because it's hard for me to do stuff right now. So, you know, hopefully you guys are taking notes, writing this stuff down, and you can kind of see our thought process of how we're kind of breaking this down as we get ready for the comeback. But I can guarantee you guys, this is gonna be like, I mean, obviously the only comeback I've ever had, but it's gonna be a sick comeback. Uh, actually, no, I think that's from COVID. COVID sucked. Actually, no, I think that's from COVID. COVID sucked. I'm pretty sure someone dropped a dumbbell behind me and maybe smashed their fingers. Hope they're okay. But with uh, this, it's like more so a, a real comeback because this is gonna take some time to really heal up and I have to be smart about it. But I've had the last year and a half to meet some of the best coaches in the world and learn a lot of things that I'm so excited to implement into my programming to get as strong as I can. All right, so I'm pumped. You know, hopefully you guys are on board for the ride. This isn't gonna be the recovery series for like forever, okay? I'm just gonna fix my arm and we'll get on to all the other content. But for right now, I appreciate you guys bearing with me, staying patient as I get through this. Uh, but hopefully you've been enjoying the content that we've been putting out. We put a lot of hard work into this. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Keep rolling with these long ass outros. Sorry, Matt, his shoulders are getting massive right now. His shoulders are blowing up, I'm dude. I'm probably like, gonna have to like stabilize this footage. For this oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like people are like, yo, what's your number one uh, assistance exercise for shoulders? Holding a damn camera is my number one assistant exercise. His veins are just blowing out of his shirt right now. It looks like wrinkles, but they're veins. So, sorry guys, we're gonna cut this video. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, head over to zastrank.net. We got tons of programs, purchase the program, it supports everybody here, my coaching staff, my gym, means a lot. And then we also have Matt's YouTube channel, follow him, he's training for an Ironman. Maybe he's already doing it at this point when you're watching it. Which one, September 1? September 18th. September 18th, my man has the Ironman in Maryland. It's gonna be a beast, but he's also strength training. And he's doing really well strength training and doing Ironman stuff. Mind blowing, subscribe. And we have a Facebook group, The Iron Lions, in the Facebook search bar. Go and do it, you're an idiot if you don't. It's a small, awesome group of people. We put our articles, we do form checks, uh, we put out events, we put out discounts, all sorts of stuff in that Facebook group. It's free, you wanna be a part of it, so do it now. And lastly, we have the podcast, which is Becoming the Lion Podcast, iTunes, Spotify, one episode a week, uh, basically taking you through of the journey of just becoming a better human being uh, through health and fitness, through personal growth and development. We have a lot of kick-ass people on there with amazing stories that are inspiring and uh, teaching you how to just overcome adversity, become better, and just have the, the whole body is such a, a unit and it's holistic on how we have to bring everything together to become our best version. So that's all stuff we cover in there. Check it out. Make sure you give her a rating or review on the podcast. That'd be cool. But until then, guys, stay in lean, mean, strength machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.